Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill, right now ready to record the next episode of Gordam's 60k turns speed run. And if I may remind you, the last episode was a real thriller that was so exciting when Gordam, level 15 trollish duelist, entered the Tower of Eternal Flames with very limited equipment and uh, um, without crowning even. And this was such a dramatic fight. I was at, at times I thought he would not survive it. He was very close to death, and one hit around he was punched down to don't know thirty or forty hit points. And finally, by using a scroll of familiar summoning, he managed to uh, summon a fire giant king and uh, finish off the ancient chaos worm. That was so exciting. I'm so much enjoying this run, uh, for, for, for the whole run so far. You, there were so many exciting situations and great uh, fights, tension all the time. I love it. However, I'm quite sure that we will not have any uh, any uh, boring episodes to come, because we're still only level 15. We're going to dive into the Caverns of Chaos now. The aim uh, for the next episodes. Or for the rest of the of the run is uh, maybe to not even visit the, the the surface anymore, because we have already done all the places on the surface that we uh, wanted to do. We did the um, uh, the, the starting dungeons, puppy cave, druid dungeon. We did uh, unremarkable dungeon to high mountain village. We did the dwarven graveyard. No, the yeah, the Dwarven Graveyard, and we did the uh, Tomb of the High Kings. We did the Tower of Eternal Flames, we also did Dark Forge. So there is not anything that we definitely have to do. However, there are still quite some things uh, waiting in this dungeon here. And I think that one of our next aims will be our, our next great aims will be to finish the elemental temples and the first of these elemental temples is the water temple but wait ah yeah I just got the feeling that I forgot something here in Dwarf Town and that is indeed the case we have got a recharged wand of teleportation and we're going to use it right now in order to jump into uh, this locked room. There stands right next to us the Dwarven Mystic and we're going to speak with him. We talk to the Dwarven Mystic. Uh, voice in head booms. Ye art doomed? Why? What do you want? We are lawful. We're not at war with this town. Are we maybe truly doomed? Let me drink one of these potions of insight. Uh, we are intrinsic fire resistant, poison resistant, acid resistant. We are lucky, fate smiles upon us. We have teleport control intrinsic. That's all through items. Well, that's all that we have. But we are not doomed. And I don't know why this guy wants to doom us. <laughs> That's not fair. However, we have to teleport back out here. And this time I teleport over here. Because I have got something with me that I want to give to the to the Bart the Gladiator. We have got this uh, Golden Gladius. Wait, no. Not give it to him. We have to chat with him to do it. Bart the Grizzled Gladiator, he talks to us about his sad life, how he lost all his uh, family and stuff to a dragon, and he would so much like to get our arena reward, this Golden Gladius. We give it to him, and therefore he trains us in all the weapon skills, and the most important thing, he trains us this amazing, uh, this amazing skill called Tactics. So, so much for Dwarf Town, I guess. Now it's time to dive again. Which of these stairs led to... Oh, I cannot remember it. I will try 
this one first. No, that was the wrong one. Because I like to go through the Dwarven Halls. We have got on-demand teleportation ready. What's that? Some invisible guy fighting us? Where is he? Here? And he's dead. I guess that was an invisible stalker. So, the first level has some beautifully closed stairs. The second does not have so beautifully closed stairs. We rather have to take a far trip around. Never getting uncautious. This is Dwarven Halls too. Well, worked again, wonderful. I still think that I need a plan. And oh, you also definitely need food. We're extremely low on food. I'm sure that there is something to eat within this vault over there. Did you bring something to eat with you? Two large rations, wonderful. And an oil of rust removal, that's also cool. Anything else that we need? Maybe I could take this mace in order to identify it later. Two rations are fine. Well. Is this mimic hive mind on the water temple level, which is definitely a very, very tough opponent? What could we do? Maybe have we got a wand of door creation? Sadly, not. Usually, these are quite common, so it's uh, strange that we don't have any. Yeah. By the way, yeah, we have a scroll of charging that's very, that's absolutely necessary because uh, we have uh, stupidly sold all our pickaxes in the high mountain village or wherever else. So we have to recharge our want of digging if we want to enter the water temple. Oh, this Lich is quite an annoying guy. I will kill him. So, nice. This was the water temp. Yeah, it was. However, at first eat something. We do not want to be hungry in here. Eat even more. And now, we have to think how to do it. Display the beast. Are we killed? Yes. Can't do the well, don't know if that's so tasty. <sighs> but before we continue, now I need a plan. Let's check our wands. What do we have here? One of a webbing might be helpful. Track creation. Fireballs. We can definitely fireball them to death. If we survive long enough, then we leave. But I think we should. I think fireballs may be our best option, but I do not want this cat to be around. Follow me to the next level. Come on, Mr. Cat. Get away. Yeah, we can outrun him. Good. Oh, okay. Maybe they will at least drop us a giant red corpse or two. What are they tired? Useless rats you are. Okay, who's that? Doppelganger? Well, ordinary doppelganger is not so much of a problem. There comes a Chaos Plague Bearer, also directly dead. Okay, and now it's getting really exciting because I think we're getting closer to this. There it is, the Mimic Hive Mind. Have we got another offensive one that we could shoot at him from here? Very, very short on offensive wands. So we just kill the spiders. 
Okay, there it is. <sighs> okay, I hope that it won't paralyze us. Let us use the one of fireballs. Maybe we can insta kill it. Suck. How much damage did we do? Oh, moderately damaged. Not too much. Oh my god, that's that's dangerous. We stay in coward mode, definitely. Step it once more. Okay, that was good. We're still alive, that's also good. Severely. One more zapping should be enough. Finish him off, come on. Yes. Oh no, he tries to flee. Well, if he stays on uh, fleeing, I have no problem with that. No need to kill this guy, hopefully. The only thing that I want is that he doesn't kill us. Still, we have to empty this room because when we go over to the to the temple, I do not want to have all these enemies in my in my back. What's that? Oh, the bullet duck a tunnel. Dark elven priestess. Yeah, it can be very dangerous to lower level characters. Okay, ogre king, ogre kings. Are also rather nasty. I will retreat a couple of steps and now come Ogre King, follow me. I'll try to fireball him too. Well, I think we should usually be able to kill him. I don't think that Ogre Kings are stronger than the steel golems. Yeah, well, that would have been a waste of a, a fireball. Did you drop for me? Quartz. Oh, nothing interesting. Oh, just spider cops. I do not want this guy to survive. Finish him off. Fireball. Nice. Good. Okay. That worked. Fine so far. Now from up there. We will try to enter the temple. Therefore, at first we need to recharge our wand of digging. How many castings did we get? Six castings! That's super! So, down here. And... So, here we are. We have to fight those water crews at first. They're washed away. Okay, I'm not so afraid of that. Also, the snakes should be no problem. I just do not want to be uh, ganked by these uh, water crews, so I retreat into the corridor when they get too close. Poisoned and corrupted. Okay, that's not nice. However, First, make one round around the temple and finish off those swimming monsters. Water snake goes, okay. We are still poisoned, but I do not care very much. I hope that soon we will find something to eat, that would be more important. anymore but we have to do something against our hunger come on so here we go another snake and now all these crews get nearer oh, extremely hungry don't like that So, this guy's dead. Maybe one of them will drop us a corpse. Well, not a one corpse. I do not think they can even drop corpses. Makes his face level 10, that's fine. Who 
wash those away, but not much damage. Good. So, do we did we get something to eat? No. So we have to eat some of our or do we have a scroll of uncursing? Yes we have. I read one of one scroll of uncursing onto our stomophilias. So we've got at least a couple of uncursed stomophilias. Nice. And just by the way, we also have got four mosses of Morelen. I will also uncurse them and train our dexterity a little. Yes. Good idea. So, uh, how many do we need? I think we need two in order to train it once. One, two, and we forgot about another very nice piece of equipment about this Chaos Orb of Fire, which should greatly increase the damage that we deal in melee. Nice. Oh, why is this guy already there? Come on, kill him. Good. Yeah, that was nice. That's unusual that there is a water elemental outside the temple. So, any more water grooves? Yeah, here they come. Level 16, fine. What do we get from this level up? We can increase alertness to 100. Yeah, that's super. That saves us from many bolts or traps and other nasty stuff. Increase our dodge a little further. And we've got one more. What do we use it on? I think I will increase food preservation even more because we are still really short on food. And I hope that we will be able to get it to 90 in order to get even more corpses. We already got our dexterity, dexterity increase by the way, so we will use two more of these mosses. One, two. hit got poisoned I think a couple of hits are hard to avoid but however we managed to clear the outer temple now have we got anything equipped that could rust yeah our crossbow unequip that get over to the other side and now finish off these guys Ocean, cool. They cannot swim, so up here they can only attack us one by one. Water demon. He fleets, okay. Don't care about that. Over here, nothing. But I think at the other side we already killed one elemental. So I try get over here. So the fight's a little easier. Iron ration, nice. That's definitely very useful. And slowly but surely, we're also getting a real melee beast. Let's see how much damage we do against these guys. That's not bad at all. Killing these elementals with three hits. Okay. And here is the snake from beyond. I am actually not 100% sure how we will fight the snake. Hmm. 
Got a couple of nice potions here, but nothing offensive. Except maybe the potion of cure corruption, but I do not want to waste it on the snake from behind. How fast is the snake? Let me check that. It has got a speed of about 100, so I should be a lot quicker, 111. So I think that every 11th turn I will get a free movement. Oh, we were inside this hole, that's not good. Did pay attention. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. One, two, three, oh, fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, that worked. One, two, three, four, five, okay, that was earlier. Two, three, four, five, six, no. One, two, three, four, five. It did not hurt me, good. Two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five. That works quite fine. Takes some turns, but I think that's the best way. One, two, three, four, five. Nah. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. That works wonderful. Three, four, five. One, two, oh, we have to swim. Three, four, five. Two, three, okay, I first finish the demon. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. You have to hit it. That was good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, come on. Two, three, four. Yes, and we finished it. And I think it did not hit us even once in this fight. Except from this one hit in the very beginning. That was excellently done. Nice. So we take the corpse with us. Maybe we will be able to get it to the surface through the shortcut. Well, that was the water temple. I am super happy with our performance down here. That green slime? Yeah. We need to eat something. Um, the ration. That was actually the first time that I successfully used such a hit and run tactic against the snake. Usually I, uh, I use missiles. And this, uh, Hit and run tactic with me with melee weapons is somehow really cool, I think. Okay, we've got a beehive at this level. But I do not know if we will be able to finish this level in this episode because I will play until we reach turn 30. Oh, nice. That could give us something against our hunger. Finish off the seal giants. I think there was also one frost giant in there and I have to be afraid, well, no, maybe not afraid, but I have to take good care when I fight him, because these frost giants can do big amounts of damage. Okay, critically, and he's dead, good. And usually they drop some corpses. And that would be fine because they are very, very satiating, giant corpses. Let's take a look. Sling, sling. Yeah, three hill giant corpses. Fine. Eat the first, eat the second, eat the third. Yum, yum. What do we have here? Stone statue. Shadow troll. This is a purple wand, interesting. Higher metal cap, very fine. Let's equip that directly. Adamantium cap, two points of protection, nice. 
higher metal girdle also fine okay we already have got an adamantium girdle and this one is mithril so very likely ours is better here are the bees so that over there is a pool okay i thought that was the beehive um, i will try to finish them off maybe they drop something nice small shield lots of bee corpses i'm not so much interested in killing them Okay, there are no stairs. We already have bee wax, so that's also not so important. But this golden amulet might be something. Still, the only thing that I'm really looking for is the downstairs. A pickaxe! Oh, thank you! That's definitely good to have. Here are the downstairs, reached the next level, and we feel excited. That means on this level we've got a lesser vault. And a lesser vault on D22 is already something quite serious. Playlist higher metal, check that. Movements are getting swifter, that's fine. So we can continue our training with two more Mosses of Moradon. One, two, fine. Uh, change back to the fire orb and finish this water demon. So. I'm looking forward to see which kind of vault this is. If it's a mixed vault, that could be seriously dangerous. Uh huh. That's. I don't think that's the vault, but it's nice training anyway. Whole lot of wolves. Some corpses, definitely something nice against our uh, food issues. Those wolves are quite slow, I've got the feeling. They need some time to reach me all the time. However, I'm absolutely not afraid. I will try to get through and uh, attack the, the werewolf directly. So stop summoning. Nice. And now back to the corridor. Okay, getting closer to the end of this episode. And done. We've reached turn 30,000. And I think we can again be very, very happy with this episode because in a brilliant tactical way, we finished off the snake from beyond and finished the water temple. So two of the water elemental temps are already done, just three missing. So I hope you won't miss the next episodes because that's when we're going to dive deeper, find out what this vault on this level is and maybe even reach the next special level of the Caverns of Chaos. Bye everybody.